Well, it's it's like um, rehashing the wounds all over again, but it's something that that I have made up my mind I need to, to come and here and get some sort of closure or disclosure, um, whatever happened on that fateful night. Um, it's it's um, we we are still not too sure of, of what had happened or, or how how it had happened, and uh, and we hope that with this trial now that we would be able to to get um, some light as to what actually happened on on that night. Um, so we can only depend on the witnesses and the police report or as and see um, put them together and see um, if we can make sense of what had happened that night. But it's just reopening some wounds. But um, I guess after almost four years, um, we've been waiting for it. We've been waiting long. And we hope that um, something will come out of it. Um, we can't bring back Aubrey. He cannot be brought back. But I would still, or the family is still looking towards getting some information so that we can be more satisfied and uh, see who, um, actually what happened on that night. Do you believe that through this process, Abre, your son, will, will receive justice? Well, we say I, still have, I still have confidence in the judicial system. Um, I am not too concerned that he will receive justice now. As I said, there is no he can be brought back, but I, I would like justice for um, whoever committed the crime um, to they, they face some some form of justice. But um, as I said, if the person would have to be proven guilty first of all, and I I don't uh, I, I still hope that something come out. And I said I still have faith in the justice system, and and if they found him, if they find him. Mm, not guilty well, because of the, the evidence that is that is presented. Um, we have we we have no hard feelings on that um, uh, as long as, as it is fair.